and welcome to MGP 504. I'm Kevin. With me as ever, this sheepdog Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. 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 You. I said say hello, boys and girls, not sing it. If you can't follow simple instructions, you're it. not coming to Barcelona this weekend. <laughs> stay at home. You need me. I don't need you ignoring my instructions and just singing willy-nilly. <laughs> I'm convinced we're going to get there and this uh, two-bit Amazon weight thing I brought is going to be 10 kilograms out on my weight <laughs> of my stuff. And I'm going to have to Why? leave all my paraphernalia I mean, at home. You could, just use a, you could just use a normal set of weighing scales and stand on it with a normal set of weighing suitcase. scales. But there's no scales in your house. No. What a strange house. I'm not obsessed with my weight. It's not about being obsessed with your weight. It's about knowing how much you weigh. I've weighed the same for like four years. How would you know? You don't have any scales. Well, my doctors always check me, don't they? Whenever I go there, they're obsessed with it. And I say, go on in, get your scales out. If you're so obsessed, and they do. You're a strange man. I don't need to know. I don't need to know any of these stats that often. I found out the other day that I'm 37. Didn't know that. I thought I was 38. It was the best news <laughs> it was brilliant how can you possibly not know how old you are don't track these things why would i need to well it's like high score isn't it you need to know when to take your helmet off and salute the crowd when you get to 50 people will tell me i think people will notice i mean i know vaguely like i mean i assumed you already were 50 so i've been telling you for quite some time so you don't trust everybody's opinion on it i've never seen any proof of your age i assume you're older than me I think what threw me a little bit is my mum's 30 years older than me. So she became 68. And I think I just automatically updated the number on her birthday in my head instead of mine. But I could have sworn I was turned 38 last year. I was very thrown. I put put my details in to pay for something. Um, and it, it came up saying 37 years old. Anna, how old why. are you? Because you and him are the same age, aren't I'm you? 37. You're 37. Well, you see, your story does seem to check out, Sheepdog. Mm -hmm. It seems you may be 37. Although it is Anna's birthday soon, no, so it's when her, when it's her birthday, you have to tick over then. It is your birthday no, soon. No, 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 no. I don't have birthdays anymore. You certainly <laughs> don't have birthdays in this country anymore. Last year you were in France. Next, yes, this year you're going to be in Spain. Yes. You're just in a different country every birthday from now on, is it? Yes. Tick them all off, that'd be great. <laughs> How old would you have to get before you've exhausted the countries? How many countries are there? Quite a few. I don't think she'll live yeah, that long. I don't think that's going to happen. I think like... I don't know, Sounds like quitting talk. Something. So uh, I have a question for Kev. At some point when you released the uh, <laughs> the best thing from video the other week, did you happen to film my bank card at all? Do you know? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Did you? I mean. <laughs> oh no. Did, what, what, was there any point during the weekend when you got your bank card out, Mister All Expenses Paid? <laughs> I don't remember, other than that little um, little sweetie marketplace. But yeah, I really don't know. A friend oh, of mine. I tell you what, I tell oh. you what. When you were buying the milk, maybe you might want to check uh, the video. Yeah. Oh God, the video could be there. My friend suggested you might have to sue Editor Chris for the oh. listeners' benefit. I was. Uh, I, so I checked my phone. Uh, gone midnight the other day to check I'd been paid and I was like yep brilliant going to bed woke up the next morning and a grand had been taken out of my account and bet on bet365 and I was like what on earth has gone on here <laughs> like how did they even know they, they, they must have just done it because it's the end of the month and they just thought you know what first of the month payday will be been and gone we'll just take a grand um, and you can see that they've they tried a fiver then they tried 20 then they tried 30 and, and then they just went 100 100 100 100 until I'm guessing something stopped them and uh, yeah, I was in a bit of a panic. And then my friend said to me, you didn't get your card out on a vlog by mistake, did you? And I thought, well, not any of mine, because mine are never out and about. It's just me sat in a chair, isn't it? But then I was like, hang on, did I did I happen to be waving it around during that bit? And it could have been the milk. I don't think it would have been, but I am tempted I don't, to I don't it. think it made it into the actual video, but I think I probably filmed you using the card thing. So it seems like editor Chris is uh, number one suspect at this point because oh, he he will have seen it. So we might have to we might have to send the police round to have a little word with him because they had scare, a look at the account. Scare him into uh, into admitting it. They said uh, they went on there and they said, "Yeah, we can find the account that's logged to this card. It was set up the other day." And they just typed your details in, and I was like, "So they must have." <gasps> I mean, they'd have needed that little number on the back. So That's I don't disgusting. think I showed both sides of the card. You know, I don't think I waved the numbers around either way. I mean, I could have done. I just don't get it. I just, I just don't get it. I didn't do it on purpose if I did that. Um, there but... was that point when you were asleep and I just 
took photographs of everything that was in your wallet. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought, like, even when people clone a card, surely it doesn't clone the CSV code on the back. That's the point, isn't it? That bit doesn't get sent anywhere. I so it doesn't make know. any sense. I, was just... I have no idea how it works. Uh, listeners, tweet me and tell me how this works. In my head. Yeah, can be... we have instructions on how we steal people's card well, details? No. We'd, we'd like to get involved in that game. That <laughs> I want to know, I wanna know where, what I could have possibly done because uh, websites don't tend to... The, only the Halifax thing takes it. Photographing the front of my card would be no good for anyone. Uh, well, see... if it makes you feel any better, I'm going to Milton Keynes Dons versus Cambridge with editor Chris soon. So I'll make sure I get some pictures of his card when we're out doing that, and I'll send them to you, and you can get your revenge. <laughs> Excellent. I had a big old faff, but eventually, the, ne- the next day I thought it was happening again. I was sat there after talking to the bank and cancelling the card and everything, and suddenly it popped up the same numbers. But it Surely was, uh... as well, for a money laundering thing, if you gamble and then win, surely you have to withdraw to the same card that you yeah, deposited Yeah, it's weird, on. isn't it? It's so if weird. They, I can only assume they lost a grand and didn't win a penny. Because otherwise, you should have had some deposits as well. Well, they didn't believe me at first. When I rang the Halifax, they were just like, uh, you need to talk to Bet365. We can't really do anything about this. And I come off the phone thinking, she just thinks I've put on a few stupid bets and I want my money back, doesn't she? So mm-hmm. when I rang them, they had a look at it and they were like, yeah, we've found it. We've locked it all. We'll sort it all out. When I rang them back, they were like, yeah, we'll cancel the card. We'll give you the money back if we, you know, once we've got it uh, paid out, we'll we'll cancel those and put it back. And as I say, I, I saw all the alerts go off and thought I was being robbed again. And then... I realised it was just the money was going out and going straight back in simultaneously, but it just made my phone go off. Instead of it going off the 12 times for the payments being refunded, it went off 24 times, made it look like I was just being hammered with with, with more uh, attacks. But yeah, it all squared in the end. It just was a very tense sort of 24 hours of not knowing what on earth was going to happen. I don't have a card. I'm going to bring my credit card with me this weekend. That is so the only let me card. get this straight. You are travelling with me to a, another country... You don't have a bank card or a bag. This is <laughs> this is going to be this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I have a suitcase with all my stuff in it, and uh, I have a wallet with my credit card in it. But yeah, <laughs> my phone can't do bloody um, Apple Pay at the moment, which is very annoying. But I suppose that's safer than it being able to be in some arguments, I guess. But yeah, no, it was convenient timing. Definitely. Um, <laughs> I'm already that's... paying for the trip. You didn't have to put this whole ruse on. <laughs> You're fine. I'm not gonna not gonna charge you for it. I mean, that was sarcasm, calling it convenient. But yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I, d- I didn't have to go to this length. I reckon it was uh, my wife. Just I was, I was planning a trip to Norway with my friends, and it's all gone around. It's happened around that, and I'm like, damn it. Um, it should be. F- I mean, I transferred them the money anyway, but um, it definitely made me pause for a moment, thinking this is more than that trip's going to cost, and I now don't have it, but I've got it back, so Norway's back on. Going to go whale-watching, northern lights seeing, and possibly go to see Tromso FC play. What, without your wife? Yeah, I'm going with the lads. Oh, no, you can't go there without your wife. That's that's not on. Yeah, that's a a trip I've had to promise Anna. I've got to take Anna on that trip. You can't go and see the northern lights without your wife. That's disgusting. (laughs) That's awful. <gasps> gonna go with Dave and the lads. It's gonna be very romantic. What our dog? <laughs> Is he going on? Looking forward to it though. I did say I would take her another time, especially if. Uh, well, Anna. No. I'm taking Anna. <laughs> uh... Is that the best place to see the Northern Lights? Because I've a part part of me being allowed to go on all these uh, these trips that I'm going on for football things. I've got. I've agreed to take Anna to the Northern Lights. I don't know where the best place to see the Northern Lights is. I was thinking I Iceland. I don't know that it's the best. I think Iceland is up there. But the reason we were going to go here was because you could also do the the world's most northern football club, Tromso FC or Tromso Ill, I think they're called. And then, um, yeah, the whale watching stuff. You can get on a boat and go off and, and look for whales. Well, we've been to whales the other week. Yeah, well, I'm going to make my mate wrestle a whale. That's my plan. I'm going to chuck him in the water Excuse if we see one. <laughs> You are the strangest vegetarian ever, aren't you? Really? You won't eat them, but you will make somebody fight one. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna—they're not gonna win, are they? If he beats a whale, then it had it come in. It was a weak so whale. So, if he beats the whale, are you allowed to eat it? Because it was fair. I <laughs> discovered the other day that there are vegans that exist that eat meat when it's going to waste, and I'm thinking I might just loiter around the bins and just be like, "Don't throw that out." <laughs> wow! Like it's a perfect loophole. Just stand outside the bins of McDonald's and go, "Nah, don't throw it. I'll have it." I'd be sorted. 
I wish I'd so known that when no Domino's bank card, that pizza out. No bag and planning to loiter around the bins. I'm going to have a lovely weekend. I'm going to get a bag from the airport. That's my plan. <laughs> With <laughs> what? You haven't got a bank card. I'm going to use my credit steal card. One? <laughs> Um, they told me they were going to post me out a card, but my Apple Pay would update automatically and with the new details, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. And it hasn't done that. I'm very miffed with that. I was waiting for it to update, and it hasn't bloody done it. So I don't know what she was on about, really. But uh, she told me, oh, it'll all update. Don't worry about it. It'll just pop into the... Nothing. Absolutely outrageous. She's a liar. Disgraceful. <laughs> um, should we talk about some computer games? Have you played any? Well, I've played Football Manager, which has had the winter update come out this week, so that's that's fairly significant. Well, it's winter, Pab. Do you not know when the seasons change? Yeah, you need to watch some sea babies, Pab. Kicked off, no, I thought spring. No, not until the twenty first, twenty second. I think is when spring starts. Pabby, get the sea babies up 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 on your TV. I don't watch I'm afraid. They'll um, they'll be singing. I assume you went to school and learnt when the seasons happen. I know it's roughly March, and it's just turned March. Goodness me! So I don't know. Is rookie season knowledge, Pabby. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah the, yeah, the the winter update is out, so I had uh, I had a little nose through it. I'm I'm doing some research playing on it now as well because there's been lots of things. There's three point seven million database changes, Jeez. so lots of lots of players yeah. have been all the all the transfers have been done from the January transfer window. So Chelsea have now got their ridiculous five hundred million pound squad that they purchased in January. Um, lots of player ratings have been upgraded. So the likes of Marcus Rashford, Bakayo Saka, Zinchenko, the players have had a good season so far. have had big boosts. Deli Alley's had 20 points knocked off his current ability yet again because he's just disappeared. He's now at the point where he's struggled to get into the posh team, I think. Um, <laughs> it's probably accurate, though. Again, yeah, seems fair. And, How far has uh, Sun dropped off on it, if you checked? He lost five points, I think. He was the other big loser and connected to Spurs. Obviously, I went I went looking. Um, but yeah, he lost five points. And uh, in addition to that, they've done lots of tweaks to the match engine playability stuff because it's been the most criticised football manager release I've ever paid any attention to. And bearing in mind, I've been playing it for 25 years. I've paid attention to a few of them. There's been a lot of criticism of the game this year and they've they've fixed a lot of stuff they've sorted out some of the goalkeeper and defensive positioning stuff that was an issue before um there's just general uh match match gameplay tweaky things it just feels a little bit more fluid a little bit more realistic worryingly my tactics that have been working now don't work because they've adjusted things like how wingers oh i just knocked my water bottle over um they've adjusted things like how wingers attack but also how they track back and support fullbacks so Systems with wingers in don't work as well. Um, it, there's there's just various bits and bobs. Really fast strikers don't seem to be working quite so well anymore because they've adjusted defensive positioning for when there's long balls or balls over the top. It's much harder to catch defences out flat now. So there's just... It's going to be a process of over the next couple of weeks just being a nerd while all the other nerds are also being nerds. And it's a race to find out what the new meta is. We'd all kind of mastered it. The game came out back in October we'd all kind of got to the point where, yeah, you know, we know exactly what to do to win in FM23. And now it's kind of halfway through. Let's just turn it all on its head. And now it's a race to figure out how to beat the game again, um, which I imagine won't take very long. There's only so many options to experiment with. And I'm uh, I'm winning right now. So I assume, I'm, I'm assuming I'm nearly there because I am something of a football manager genius, as I'm sure you're all aware. But yeah, I've been basically knees deep in that i've played a little bit more fire emblem engage i'm closing in on finishing that i think as long as my master plan of not being next to sheepdog on the plane this weekend is uh, comes to fruition which i've made sure i didn't book his seats next to each other so fingers crossed it's a full plane so i don't have to sit next to him um that's four hours where i reckon in those four hours i can get fire emblem finished i'm i'm about three or four missions away from the end the story is really picking up it's it is a really really good game but goodness me it's um it's a long one it, it i'm probably 40 hours deep at this point i think you could probably do it quicker but i'm going back and uh doing a lot of the additional bonus stuff because the the actual the gameplay the battles is so much fun i want to play as many of them as possible before it's all over um, so because of that i'm massively over leveled whenever i do any of the main story stuff that doesn't level with you so 
it's it's pretty easy to cruise through the main story battles now but some of the side ones are still pretty challenging and it's ju it's just a fun story i'm really enjoying it and i'm gonna be very sad when it's done but uh yeah fire emblem is great football manager is a work in progress and that's my week boys and girls you really better need to bring something to do on this plane flight how long is it four hours it's two hours there two hours back all oh, right okay that's not too shabby I, I knew you'd said four hours and when i kept saying that to my wife she was like it's not four hours to spain and i was like well, why does kev keep saying four then but now we have sense. to come back Chief yes Dog. we have to come no, back does make sense um i do need to figure out i mean what i always do when i go to uh, airports is i buy i buy my uh decadely copy of new scientist and read that and find out what science is up to at where the are you gonna put that well, I'll have a bag by that point, Chapman. You know that. I, I told you, you I'm going to buy one at the I, airport. Me, you, and, you have promised me and Pab you were buying a bag at the last three Comic-Cons we've been to. They How many bags any. have you bought at them? They haven't had any. They've not sold them. They, they've had loads. Like. They've had hundreds of bags. Yeah, we've not sold ones that are me, like stuff that I Which like. Which is the exact problem we're going to have in Birmingham Airport <laughs> tomorrow morning. Well, I'm assuming. <laughs> that, I mean, I don't know what Birmingham's like, actually. I'm forgetting that Birmingham's not like Stansted and Gatwick and all of that. But they always have luggage shops and stuff like that. And I've always thought, what kind of Muppet buys a bag at an airport? And now I'm going to find out. It's me. But um, I keep meaning to ask Mrs. Sheepdog to measure my bag because I thought my suitcase wasn't right and she measured it so it was fine. So I don't know whether I'm just measuring stuff wrong. But uh, we were having a weird day the other day where tape measures weren't working properly. Someone came around to measure our kitchen and found that the other three people who'd measured it had got it wrong. And this person happened to get it right. So we'd have another guy come out today and remeasure it to see whether it was right. What are right. the chances of three people independently getting it wrong with the same answer and one guy then miraculously getting it right? Are you sure that's not the other way around? Well, you say that, but the guy that came out tonight, who originally the first person to measure it, went, yep, he's right. I can't believe this has happened, but he's correct. And I apologise. And they've now had to kind of redo the bloody... Uh, not massively. They just have to remove, like... 10 centimetres worth of um, distance because they were just building a counter in front of our back door, um, which was very bizarre. <laughs> and all of them had measured it and gone, it's all fine, it's coming to about here. And then this one guy was like, why are they doing this 9, 10 centimetres over your window? And we were like, oh, they're not. But he showed me, he put all this tape down and measured it. And I was just like, goodness me, I had to ring them and have them. I this rang is why you should have played House Flipper 2 with me and Pab at EJX, because then you'd have your own tape measure and you could verify and, these yeah, things. You'd have a bag as well. <laughs> that is yes. true. I rang them to have a moan and they went, this is why we send the people out to verify it. And I was like, yeah, but he was the fourth person who verified it. The other person was supposed to build it and then he couldn't make it. He was on holiday, so he just uh, sent his mate. But his mate found this gaping hole in the plan. Anyway, games. Um I played more of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What was it called? Uh, Battle R. All-Star Battle R. I'm guessing that means Royale. I said that last week, but I'm just it, it's only called R everywhere. That got exceedingly hard, and I couldn't beat it, and so I stopped playing it. Um, it's cool. It's fun. I, I still stand by my review of it. It's just too hard for me. I'm not good at fighting games. I'm not good at pressing buttons and trying to figure out moves and stuff. I just, I don't know. I prefer picking moves. And, and you only saw me seeing the news about Final Fantasy 16 in the week, I was rather disappointed to see that they've turned that into a like a Devil May Cry style. You press you know, square X, triangle, whatever, and do different moves and hack and slash and spin and do fancy stuff. And I just want to be able to go attack, use magic, summon, and just watch that play out and press the same sort of button, but figure out what I want to do with it each time. But apparently... The world doesn't want to do that anymore. Sheepdog's too old. Um, so what I've been playing instead, uh, I was <laughs> because I'd only played stuff I'd already spoken about, and I didn't want to spend the whole time talking about Pokemon Go and the events that happened in that and all that stuff. I uh, I, I looked on Xbox um, Game Pass just to see what was on there that I fancied, um, and I ended up playing a game from I think it was 2021. I was looking at it earlier on uh, to just check what it was from. Merge and Blade. Have you ever heard of that? Sounds made up. What's it called? Merge and Blade. So it's like a... Merge and Blade, okay, have a look. It's like a little... Um, I went to look at my phone to see what type, what type of game it's called and that bloody uh, shop in Barcelona that does cakes that you sent me, Kevin, was on my screen. What's uh, the shop called, Sheepdog? I'm not going to tell you. I can't remember. It's in Spanish, isn't it? And I believe it was in English. Was it called Dicks? <laughs> it was called Dick Waffles. Dick waffles, that's it. <laughs> it's just waffles in the shape of dicks, pub. I'm not um, I'm not sleeping that. 
Yeah, we don't need to. It's it's a name. It's short yeah, for my it's name. Richard, it's, his name is Richard Waffle. Um, I was saying to Kev, though, rather than doing that in Barcelona, we should do that when we visit Manchester, Pab, and you should come with us. I think we should do a comparison of penis-shaped cakes throughout the world. Because um, if people want to go to mrdick.co.uk, it's not far from Pab's house. <laughs> Maybe it is Pab's house. Maybe. But anyway, um, whatever this is called, Merchant Blade. I was Googling it to just double check. Yeah, it's on Steam and Xbox, and it's basically a puzzle game. Where so do you remember that game that was on all the phones back in the day? You had like uh, the number two. You, you have different number cards, and if you drop two down and then you dropped another two on it, it'd become four, and then the fours would merge with other fours to make eight. So the idea 64 was sixty-four or whatever it was called. Yeah, was that Don't called it? six? Yeah, um, it's like a battler version of that. So like you've got this grid, and it's giving you different pairs of little fighters. So you have like a guy with a pitchfork. Um, a, a, a little bald fella, um, a guy with a uh, like a knight with a sword, um, a guy with like a big fluffy helmet on. I think he is, and then it sort of changes each time depending on how you com- combine them. But the idea is, if you get three of the pitchfork guys, they turn into a bald fella. Three bald fellas turn into a knight. Three knights turn into a. I think it was a berserker. Three of them turn into a bow and arrow person, and um, three of them turn into like a priest that heals everybody and stuff like that. And the idea is that you have, I think. You can level up how many goes you get to add to your team. So early in the game, you're only getting sort of four pairs sent to you and you have to combine them into whatever you can. They then automatically run off into battle. The The computer sends monsters out to fight you. It's like you're going through a dungeon and there's like however many waves for that level. So for example, uh, round four was 10 waves and it just got progressively harder. You guys go through they'll fight that wave of monsters and then whoever survives will go to the next sort of platform and then you'll be able to drop in new soldiers. And the idea is you've got to try and figure out where you want them to be, what you want to combine them with, keep upgrading uh, what combinations can work. So if you find that you're getting lots of the maximum one you've unlocked, you can go and spend some gold on unlocking more. But if you can't do that yet, you'll probably have to die a few times to then build up enough gold to do it again. And yeah, it's just like a cool little puzzly game where you just got to try and figure out what the best way to get through the battle is. And like I was going through and the enemy started healing themselves and I couldn't beat them. And then I unlocked that ability to heal myself. And then suddenly the tables were turned and I was able to do it. Um, I was sat there thinking, this is a bit basic, but the music's good. And then I played it for like three hours and was just like, yeah, okay, this is fantastic. I'm absolutely loving the music. I mean, loving how chill it is. Um, it's so it's on Steam and it's on Xbox. It's easy enough. I would say get it, if you had it on Steam Deck, um, that'd probably be quite. I was just gonna say like I wish it was on phone. That was the first thing I went to check. Can I play this on my iPhone? Because it would just be something to play on the toilet, something to play when I'm bored, something to sit on yeah. a flight and do for a bit, you know. And yeah, it's not on phone, but I say it'll be on Steam Deck, so I recommend it. I don't think it's very expensive. It was on Game Pass for now, obviously, but I'm loading Steam just to double check. Eight point fifty. That's not too shabby, is it? And no. yeah, it's just a cute little game. Um, yeah, no harm. It's obviously quite low level, sort of pixely graphics, old style. Uh, but it's fun. I really enjoyed it. I think Ollie will love it. I, I said to him, you need to check it out. He started. I said to him, I've been playing a game. I saw all the achievements popping up while you were playing it because he's on his Xbox upstairs. <laughs> but um, <laughs> he, I told him to get it. I think he'll enjoy it. It's the sort of game I feel like he'll be t- talking my head off about. Like, I combined three of these, did this, and that. I kept making mistakes. Like, I. I had all these really good archers who were helping me kill stuff, and then I accidentally uh, landed an archer in line with all of them, and they all turned into one. I had like six archers, and they turned into one friggin' priest. And I was just like, what the hell are you going to do? So I had like one priest and a bunch of bald guys, and uh, they just couldn't they couldn't do anything because they weren't the archers that I'd been carefully lining up. So there is a bit of strategy to it as well. You've got to pay attention to where you're putting stuff because, yeah, otherwise you end up with too many bald fellas. And they're useless. But uh, no, a great little game. Recommend it. <laughs> Go check it out. It's on Game Pass. It's on Steam. And uh, that is my lot. Pabby, put an advert in quickly before I uh, say anything else to upset Sheepdog. Good advert, Pabby. Excellent work. Right. Come on, you other two rascals. Tell us what you've been up to. Anna, what have you been playing? Nothing. That's a lie. Oh, I saw you goodness. playing a game today. Yeah, but it's like four years old. Well, that's the, I mean, Sheepdogs one was like Sheepdog, 11 years Sheep, old. I'm just looking. Sheepdogs came out on 28th of February based on this. This what? year. 
June 2021. It only come out on PC 28th of February 2023. You could have pretended you were on a new release game that came out this week. Yes, yeah, you've uh, <laughs> You've made a terrible mistake. I think that's just been added to Game Pass it this might, week. It might have. It might have been an early access sheep dog, and it might have officially, uh, officially released. Oh well, look at me. Edit, edit it back in. Say I've played a brand new game this <laughs> week. I've played edit a brand new game in. this week. Yeah, excellent. excellent. There me. you go, Pally. Good editing. Obviously, you'll have to edit all this bit out. You'll be fine. You'll figure it out. It's all very easy to do. Mm. Anna, back yeah, to so, you. So, so nothing. Not a lot. That's not true. I watched oh you playing a game. <laughs> what were you playing? A ghost of whatever it is. Tiramisu. Tsushima? Yeah. Still a Why ghost. did you go back to that? Because people are playing another game that looks like this, but I didn't want to play that, so I played this instead. What game <laughs> looked like it? Um, it oh, won Wolong. something. Wolong. Yeah. I don't want to play that because it's one of them games where if in, it gets better when you go and rest, then I just don't want to do that. I don't like things that come back to life. Like a Souls game. Oh, that, I had no idea what you meant when you said everything gets better when you go and rest. Now I get what you mean. The baddies it's recover. Like a yes. Souls game in it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you. Don't need that in my life. Um, <laughs> but I was watching someone play it. I was like, oh, I got a game. That looks like it's that. on Game Pass, though. It is on Game Pass. I just don't want to go and play it um, because I'll get very annoyed with it because it looks really cool, but just not for me. So oh, I put this. I installed this. Um, I've got the the PS5 um, upgrade going, and it's still the same game. You I'm finish still, it? No, I'm still on the finish first. Side. But I got I got to the second island, and then mm. I don't know something came out, and I never went back to it. So I'm on the first side. Like I'm halfway. I've got like three stances, if that makes any sense to people. I've got three out of the four. Yeah. 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 So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, there's certain enemies like require certain stances yeah. for you to, to to be able to battle them. So it's like, there's like, is it like wind stance? Uh, it's like, is it, is it yeah, all the elements kind of stances or something what, like that? I oh, feel really like. Are they? Uh, it's water, like that. Yeah, wind water, wind, and stone. So you get stone first, then water, yeah. then wind, and then I don't have the fourth at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm just, I've got my, I've got the uh, the the thing. The um the rope thing to go onto the second island. I forget what they're called. They're like, you know what I mean. You throw it at a wall, like a you can hook. send. Yes, a grapple hook. There we go. So I there have that. I'm just going around p collecting a an, a bow of some sort that apparently is cursed, and I have to go and follow follow the flowers. So yes, you do that. Yeah, no, I mean that's that, that game in a nutshell, isn't it? That, that <laughs> does that so well. That is, Follow that is, that things. Is the, that is the one of the best things. Like, for like waypoints, mm. being if you just stand still, the flowers will just kind of the the petals just kind of blow in a direction, and that is the way you need to go. That is so clever the way they did that. That is, yeah, that is a very yeah. good way. Yeah, of doing you're not, it. you're not, like you're not. Way pathing the way you would in not like in older games, like there'd be no. just like straight lines. No. It's like you have to watch and listen to the wind, and yeah, I wouldn't be able to cope with that. That would Why? upset me greatly. Why? I like to just follow a straight line. When I the first when I can. used to when I used to enjoy my rimming, the first thing I would do in Skyrim is go and get the potion that allows you to wave <laughs> your hand in the air and get a straight line. I get a line come out in front of you, and I would literally just walk on the line from objective to objective. I have to have a line. Oh to God, walk you're on. so boring. I hate to explore. I just want to go straight from place to place. Why? Because then I know where I'm going. There's, there's a purpose to my motion. I don't like wandering aimlessly. I see. Well, Sometimes uh, you will just wander aimlessly, following a fox. Why yeah. do I follow a fox? Because they, that, because they want you to follow them. They say, "Come over." I don't want. Hey, I mean, hey, hey, not come, over, come over here, Kev. Kev, come over this way. Come on, <laughs> come on me. I'd say, "Why? What's over there?" Yeah, you get little yellow you. birds to go. Come here. No, I'm. I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to go and follow a fox who's not going to tell me why. I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, as soon as I get behind that bush, you're getting your willy out. I'm not going to go look at a fox's <laughs> Pardon? willy. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think I That's saw that. That's exactly where that's leading. No, it's not. Oh, come over here behind this bush, <laughs> little Kevin. Why? <laughs> oh, you'll find out when you get here, you dirty old fox. Leave me alone. 
I feel like you've had some sort of experience in the yeah, past. Yeah, it seems like it, this. doesn't it? Foxes are filth. I bet little See. yellow birds in. Yeah, what there's little yellow birds. There's little yellow birds that do exactly the same thing. Pie. Yeah. I mean, uh, do birds have penises? I don't know, Kevin. It's yeah, not something, though. Cloaca, don't they? I don't think. I don't know, maybe. How do they put the the bird sperm into eggs? I, let's not. Let's not go down this. this <laughs> I've, I've never really thought about it. But how do, oh, God. What, through the shell? Yeah. Why doesn't the shell through break? The shell. Very small uh, <laughs> tools that they use. By tool, do you mean penis? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to leave. Needle this like. is weird. <laughs> no. I'm going to Google oh, bird God. penis when okay. you look at the let's find out what's going please on. Please do that Ugh. in like. Maybe do... we go to the oh, Mr. Chat Dickie, GPT. Called. Do birds have... Oh, no, Kevin, stop. It's not funny. Teeth is the first thing that comes up. Apparently, most birds don't have penises. Only around 3% of them do. Ducks, Ducks. geese and swans all do. Yes. Yeah, the good 3%. And ostriches and emus. So basically, all the good birds have penises. This is how you establish if a bird is worth your time of day. Check its dangleberry. There you go. Continue. Right, so um, I also put in Gotham Knights and, yeah, I can't be bothered with it. It's so Ooh. boring. <laughs> it's so boring. Speaking of which, just quickly, uh-huh. Gotham Knights is in a, in a humble bundle at the minute. Re- already, really. It's in, a, it's in, a, it's in a, a bundle for aid for Turkey and Syria. And I think if you pay like, I think it was like 25 quid or something, you get like, it's like 700 quid worth of games, including Gotham Knights. That and, may be worth it, and but all the saga, all every volume of sagas in that. It's, there's so many different things in that. There's tons <laughs> of games. So if you if you are interested in Gotham Knights and getting a ton of other things with it, it is on humble at the minute of in a in a bundle. Anyway, sorry, you're not interested in it all. No, no, it's <laughs> so boring. Like I, I want, want to like, to like it. it but, yeah, and, yep, yep. Oh, like I love all of Batman and all that. Jimba Jamba, and I like the characters. I just don't like the world. The world is so boring. It's like go and do the same thing over and over again. Cause like you only go out at night, so you never see like the place in daytime. Gotham no. in day. Well, it's you always... didn't do that in previous ones, though. No, in the but... Other ones, but why? Why? Like the way they've said, like oh, all the gangs are taken over. What do the gangs only come out at night? Is that? Probably. That's what. So they've set all these fires, but then come morning they've put out the fires and decided to go home and then wait for the evening <laughs> yeah. to come back to do Relighting. the fires. It's yeah. just, <laughs> oh, it's just so boring. And like, it, the stories are all like, you can't do a full story. You have to wait until it's like you can't go on to the next stage until it's developed when you've gone and done like. The nighttime raids, and it's just, oh, I just don't care enough to go and do it. It's not like Arkham at all. And they should have made it like that, but they didn't, and it shows. Like, when I was playing it before, like when it came out, there was just glitches like this guy would be wearing his hoodie, and the two strings that hang down would be straight out in front of him, like in straight lines. And he would move around, but these straight lines, like, they wouldn't hang like normal toggles. They're just straight out, as straight as you like, just go. And it, 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 it takes you out of it. And then, like, I'm playing, like, I was playing Bat, Batwoman, and her cape, for some reason, in this section, a cape was always over her head. And when she's fighting, the cape is over her head. It will not go down. It's not doing what a cape is supposed to do. And it's like... Look, look at this 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 you got no your your cape does not just stay over your head like that it just doesn't have so I, I just turned it off i could not be bothered with it <laughs> um one for kevin cyberpunk is now um steam deck certified i saw that this week Ooh. so <laughs> put him <laughs> okay what, me being interested well I, I i saw i just saw that this week and i thought i'd tell people so if they because i like cyberpunk for all it's... i don't know how if i'm honest with you but i could barely get it running on a ps4 yeah in fact, they, they recommend not playing it on a ps4 no how no. is a steam deck going to handle 
it's Cyberpunk. certified apparently on I there. Don't know. So you'll, get to play, you'll get nine minutes of battery time on it. <laughs> yeah, and it runs at four <laughs> frames a second. I don't understand yeah. what you... Oh. But that's verified. Football Manager's verified on Steam Deck now as well. Is it? Hmm. Is it? Would, would you play it on Steam Deck? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Similar to no, Cyberpunk, no, no, no. then. Yeah, it doesn't have the console controls. It's um, oh, so you've got to use like the touch screens. Yeah, the it's. Type I mean, things. it's workable. I did a video on it, uh, available at youtubecom slash Lelujo, boys and girls. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, I, it would probably be my least, my least recommended way to play Football Manager. It runs fine if that's all you've got. I would find it very hard to believe there's anyone out there. The the only way they could possibly play Football Manager is on a Steam Deck. In which if, case, play it on one of your other things. If you docked it and put it up If you docked it, it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, it'd be absolutely fine. There you go. What would be the point of docking it then? Doesn't that because take... Then it's basically a cheap gaming PC, it's isn't like, it? Yeah, it. a little PC. Yeah, it's but like then that, doesn't that take the way the portability of it? Yes, but it's cheaper than buying an equivalent gaming uh, PC. I see. Um, yeah, so I've really not done a lot because... Everything I buy just is not what I want to play, and it goes on the uh, on the old shelf. Like I've even tried to look up like what did I miss in Atomic Heart, how to play it, and it's all I've done Oof. all of that. I'm just like I can't be bothered with it. I just I liked the first bit I was doing, but I hated the rest of it. So I feel like you just liked the the opening premise or whatever, and then it, the yes. actual game opened up and went. Nah, not for nah. Nah, maybe not. <laughs> it's like it's like Mafia Three. The start of that was oh, so wait. good. It was so the, excellent. Mafia Three is one of the best opening three hours of a game yes. in any game. Yes. The rest of it's fine, but it's not. It's, it's not. You, the... It's just doing the same thing over <laughs> yes. and over and over again for twenty more hours. Yes, it, yeah. I hate that when people do that because yeah, so good. So I've good. That, I've played and, the start of then... that game so many times. Because <laughs> it is good. It sounds like you could have finished it then if you were oh, just no. doing the same yeah, thing over the, and over. The, yeah, but the, the opening three hours are just cinematic glory. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Really good. And then it just, do this in this area, do this in this area. Like, the, the world, love the world. And everything, I know I haven't played Mafia 3 for ages, but the, the world's lovely and everything, but it is just... Bints and repeat in every area you go to with a couple of um races chucked in for you as you go on. But then first then first hours, mwah, the same with Atomic Um Heart, loved it, but after it opened up, no, thank you. And like he I was watching the part I was in, and I was like, Oh, so we get a bit further and this there's like a big boss. I was like, Yeah, I'd never beat that. Never in a million years. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't carry on with it. So I'm yeah. just gonna carry on my uh my ghostman and because somebody else I spoke to at the weekend said, "Yeah, I got I played up to the open world bit and I just I don't want to play it anymore." I've like, yeah, heard that before. Funny. Huh? <laughs> I was like, yeah. I haven't even got to the open world. I think I'm just not going to bother because I feel like this open world bit is just going to be a real turn off. So I'm just not going to bother getting to that bit. So I didn't. I played a little bit like of the open world, but then after the the train ride, I was like, no, I can't be bothered. I just I don't like the fact that. You you take an enemy down and then the robots come over and 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 um fix it up and then like it's not giving you any more items like you you take it down you go into a, a house you scavenge what you can in there or there's not always something in there so and you have to go in and out the same door obviously because there's only one door and the thing's fixed again on the floor and you're like well I've got to take that out again I don't have the resources what's the point and That's I was uneasy. Annoying. So yeah, I, I had it on easy. Yeah, yeah, stupid games. They should keep them. They shouldn't make them fun at first and then change the whole premise of the game. I like linear. Stick with linear. Don't go linear. Oh, open world. No, no, no. Don't do that. That's because so... that's what they think everybody wants these days. It's I just a want... big open like, world. I'm... No, like I'm what I'm playing Ghosts. I'm like. Oh, there's so much fog everywhere. I don't want to go and open that, but the the completionist in me wants to go and make sure there is no fog left on that map. And I hate it. I hate it because I know nine like ninety percent of it there'll be nothing there. 
but I'll have to, I'll have yeah, to go there's, and look there's at bits everything. and pieces. There's, there's foxes, there's birds, there's shrines, <laughs> there's baths. To go. You can go and have a bath. Uh, yeah, there's some, there's haikus. some haikus. You want to go yeah. do a haiku? That's it. Don't tell you. <laughs> Kevin love this game. Yeah, I'm at a haiku now. I've got to go and yeah, do something about a haiku about death. So yeah. that, that's fun. But um, like another thing with Gotham Knights, like I, I've <laughs> like I've come across is that I'm playing Ghost, and as you're like I don't know galloping around, you feel it in the controller, or you're hitting someone, you feel it in the controller. In Gotham Knights, nothing. Like, and I I like. I like like feedback from my controller, and in Gotham Knights, there's a little bit here and there, but like, like you're on a motorbike, nothing. You're fighting, nothing. It's it there's just... a reason for that. What's and that's the because reason? Though? Tsushima is a Sony game, which is made with uh... Sony people with Sony in mind, whereas Gotham Knights is made for every single console yeah. and, and PC, where so they don't cater to the special. To the special the way the the dual sense behaves and whatever, so there's probably it's just like well, there's no point mapping it for one that isn't going to be used on the PC or the Xbox. There's no point, so let's just not waste our time. And whereas, but isn't this Sushima, on PC? It, isn't it is on PC, but on PC, aren't they? It, it is on PC, yeah. But I don't, I don't know where because because the, the Sony first party games they are given, I don't know if they're given mandates, but they're probably encouraged to use. The dual sense to its full capacity to make it more attractive to play. Yeah. Whereas it, whereas Gotham Knights was just made for everything, and they're not going I to guess, put yeah. a load of resources into just making what making something that is only going to be used on one system. Probably they want to make it universal for all of them. Mm. I imagine that's probably the reason. I know Sushima was like I say the the big update with the, the PS5 upgrade was. Look at it, look at the the way the controller behaves with our with the wind and all this, and the horses <laughs> yeah. and all that yeah, all that thing. So I imagine that's a big thing. I for do, Sony I, to... yeah. I do like feedback on a on a controller and just like you say the galloping is just it's just nice to to have and like the rain and when the thunder and you can hear feel the rumble. I just I do like that. It's just that it, it gives it that just like cherry on top that they've actually thought yeah. about all yeah. that and it's like. Yeah, there you go. there you go, people. Enjoy the vibrations in your hands. So, I'm gonna do that. Also, sorry, people, but the noises that come out of this thing as well. Like, I don't think Xbox do it, but like, I'm playing Ghost and like I'm online with you, you three people. So I've turned off the the sound on the TV, but there's still like the wind coming through my controller or the clashes of like blades coming through my controller and it's it's so nice that you have that like even when the the, the sound is on you can hear them it's like such a a volume that it adds to the the nuance of what's happening in the game like it feels like it's close to you so i like that as well like i just like the little the little things with sony like i enjoy the xbox for what it what it does but just this controller is just a little bit different and just has a few as Kevin would say gimmicks but they they work like just having this little tiny speaker because I don't think the Xbox has a speaker no, on it no, no no and I just yeah I just I just like like hearing the wind a little bit closer or like when you're playing out now uh, I can't remember what game it is but you would hear telephone calls through at Returnal, that was it. You would hear the 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 voice that's come through your controller, and it's just like that. That's that's really cool. But yeah, sorry people, I've not played anything new. I think my next new game will be Dead Island Two, which was supposed to come out like ten a few weeks years away. Ago. I think is it a few weeks away? A- April twenty first, like I think. Oh, is it that far back? Did they push? Yeah, it? Oh, yeah, they, they pushed it back, it back a little bit, didn't they? It was supposed to be middle of March, wasn't it? It was. So... so they pushed it back a month, I think, didn't they? But yeah, that's not far mm. off, all realistically. No, not really. So I've got that. We've got like the new um, Star Wars thing coming out soon. That's April as well, I think. Yeah. Isn't it? So there's there's, so, there's things on the on the horizon, just not 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 much for what I want to play. So. Yeah, you know, but I know that 
that other Japanese looking game is on Game Pass. Just if you like Souls like, then go and play it. Because I won't. But that's it. That's me. Because <laughs> I won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. It's oh, no, thank you. So over to Pab. Me. Uh, what Pabby. have I played? I've, played? I've not played anything new. I'm you lot are pathetic. I mean, you're all pathetic. I, I, it only came out. release, Pab. <laughs> that is true. You Sheep did. Dogs, the only you, one trying this week. You played a brand new release you that you only knew was a brand new release 20 minutes ago. Good. Um, I played. I played. <laughs> I played a board game this week. Oh, for goodness sake. You're doing a sheepdog here, mate. This is I played a board punching. game in, in Tabletop Simulator. I went to the car wash. You went to the car wash? Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about non game related game in stuff. There? I mean, mate, you talked about Chat GTP last week. That was a game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, I've, been, I play, I've been playing a board game in Tabletop Simulator, so it is technically a game. Not a physical game. I played. Um, I've not. I've not used Tabletop Simulator very much. Uh, and whenever I have, what I always find it. Simulate. I played a game called Dice Throne. Um, and it was. It was. It's. How do I? Mm, it's a board game, and <laughs> it's it's so hard to try and explain a board game because there's so many intricacies to it. But you you have like it's 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 kind of like an RPG, um, where you you each pick a character, and you have like a series of moves, and you have like combat points which are basically your currency, and then you have a health health which is whatever number it is, and you have you you deal you, you deal yourself a number like a number of cards it's like four cards which are all all each has a, a, a deck of cards and each card has on it like an ability or an upgrade to your one of your abilities that you have it's, it is like a bit like a like a not not a D and d campaign but you know like you know, like a cat in a character sheet on D and they have like the elite they have abilities and all this sort of thing and they have health and they have all the different things and they have different spells and upgrades anyway but it's basically like a 1v1 or a 2v2 sort of game so i'm against somebody else and you have to like set up and you have like multiple phases you set up the initial phase where you are you can play you can play one of your cards or whatever it is for combat points which is your currency uh, and then you move on to the dice phase where you have five dice and you are trying to get to get like a, like a, a number of a certain thing. So say four hearts or four swords or whatever it is, whatever it corresponds with your move. So say like one move, it requires you to roll four swords and you can re-roll these dice up to two more times after after your initial roll. So you can just say, OK, I've got three hearts, three swords here. Uh, and I need two more to get to be able to do this move. So I'm going to re-roll these other two dice and then try and get it. Um, and then if you can do that, you can then deal that damage, whoever it is, use that move or whatever it is, to the opponent. And then they get to roll for defense. And then it's a, it's a back and forth like that. I only I only had one game because it took about two hours to play, just for initially showing me how to to do it and whatever. You. Um, but it led me down a rabbit hole, an expensive one. What have you done? Well, I then got. I love an expensive rabbit hole after all. Well, I then got told there's a Marvel version of this game. I went, my, I went. Okay, I'm in. Immediately, you've put you to tell me Marvel's. It's a Marvel version, and I'm interested. Um, so now I've just spent 185 quid on a board game. <laughs> <laughs> well, Why um, is it that expensive? <laughs> Why is it? I can see it on here. Actually, this because, is version four. And because stuff like that. because they, because they can. Be- well, because. 
you go, if you're going to buy it, you buy you buy you buy the it comes you have to buy the additional. Uh, I was going to say sleeves. there's a thirty five pound yeah, edition yeah. pub. No, yeah, but this is this is the this is I'm not buying the the basic version. I'm buying the. the yeah, he's the, not an idiot, sheepdog. Come I'm on. buying like the 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 big the big full version of it with all the characters in it because you can buy one that's just four characters. There's one with the, but there's. When are you going to play this? The, I don't know. I don't know. Pabby, have you seen <laughs> Thanos Rising? I talked about this a long time ago. Yeah, but that's not this. It's a dice game. Yeah, but that's not this. It's a great. What's dice this game, called? Though. Dice Throne. It was cool. I enjoyed what I played of it, and then I got told there's a Marvel version of it, and then I was like, well, I'm going to get the exclusive sleeves for all the cards. That was another 40 quid. I was like, oh, well... I mean, this, this does all sound reasonable. It, yeah, and then I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to get I'm gonna get the exclusive, the, the exclusive, like, booster set that come, or whatever it is, like, promo cards. I was like, yes, I'm going to get them. They were over 8 quid. And it wasn't that dear. I was like, all in for it. And then they whacked another like twenty five quid tax on it. I was like, "Wait, huh? And why am I getting paid?" Charity? And then I realised it because it's coming from America or somewhere, and I, I, they don't they don't show you tax, do they? Initially, so it just seemed all relatively decent price. And then they whacked tax on it, and I got stung for tax, and then another twenty quid for delivery because it's massive. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know what I don't know when I'm going to play. <laughs> but it's cool, all right. Bring it to Comic Con. I need a case for it. I need a, I'll need a bag like Sheepdog. I'm going to need another bag. <laughs> it's insane. Um, yeah, bring it. We can play it no, one of the nights. I mean, I, I wish I could. I, I, I wish I could, but it's massive. Um, I didn't realise. Right, we're, at... we're coming up to you to play it then. Abby's <laughs> having a games night. It's, 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 when it's, we do it's... best thing from Manchester, we could keep at Pab's house, couldn't we? That's true. Not likely. Like He'd really like that. No, I wouldn't. Could Me and Sheep can rather, sleep in your I'd bed and you can sleep to, in the back. I'd, I'd rather walk to you with it under my arm than do that. <laughs> We're going to get a tent in your garden. We could uh, we could stay at yours. We could go get breakfast mm. at Mr. Dick's and uh, play board games. I still don't know what this is, but uh, do whatever you want to do at Mr. Dick's. I don't care. Um, But yeah, I, so I played that uh, one night this week and I had a good time and my wallet didn't. I think my, my, I think my bank was probably ringing me going... Is this you? It doesn't seem like you. Um, <laughs> You're like, it is, but slip it through as pet365 and take no, it from a mate. <laughs> there is no way your bank would be like, this doesn't seem like you. If anything, they'd ring you and go, You're at it again, then I see. Yeah. Go, yeah, yeah. Come on, though, calm down. Um, <laughs> but the other thing I have played, and I've played, a, it's been the, probably the main thing I have played this week. I've, I've gone back to playing Hitman. Because I like it, man. There's a there's a new mode on it, and it's it's called freelancer mode, and it's a roguelike. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so good. So, freelancer mode starts you off, and you start off in your own little house, and you start off in the little bunker that you that you 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 go and choose all your missions from, and you see your weapon wall, which is empty because you've got to get the weapons out of the levels. Um. And there is like, so you pick a syndicate to 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 defeat initially, and it's the initial. You, you like have an initial run of three levels. It's like one target, one target, and then a then like a bounty target or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. And then the next set of levels, it's four levels. I think it is. I think it starts up. So you do initial three. And then do four, and then do five, and then do six. I think there's like four different rounds of levels of like um, syndicates that you need to take care of, um, and it's it's all random. Uh, so you realistically you get assigned a random character you get assigned to kill in a, in, in whatever map it is that you can pick. You normally get in, when you pick the syndicate to defeat, it shows you like this map, this map, and this map. Is, is the three maps, and then you pick one on your big world map, and then it shows. Okay, this, this is the target, and then it, then it's like right off you go, then. and then you just get dropped in the world round in a random spawn. You can get spawned in an in a completely like room full of enemies, and you trespass in, and you you suddenly like I'm in the thick of it here, or you can just get spawned right outside, and nothing's wrong, and it's and you can just go about your business. Um, 
but you like i said your house at home like i said you've got a gun wall which is empty like all these different chests that are empty and anything you can bring out with you when you complete the mission you can then keep so to speak um yeah but if like... you if you if you take a gun in and you fail then you lose the gun exactly this is the thing you see yeah. i get guns out and i just put them on the wall and go they stay there now <laughs> i'm not taking them out because if i if i fail on a level with my with anything that i take it's gone so then my i deplete my wall um and yeah i've been kind of hooked on it i'm not very good at it i get impatient i'm like I'm like the the knife specialist or just sharp specialist. I just run around with stuff at sharp and then just wait for him to come around the corner. I just fling some at sharp at him like a <laughs> screwdriver or something and go right, just scarper away quick. Um, but like the 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 I don't I think the I don't know what they're called. It's like every, at the end of every like certain run of it, you've got to do like a bounty level where you don't know who the target is. You only get given a series of descriptions so you get given like they have earrings they're wearing a necklace they have glasses and they have blonde hair um and then you have like a trait so they could be a foodie where they still like to snack they're smoker they're anxious so you and you'll see they have like they'll have like um they'll have like a uh an icon above the head when the, the say the snacking or something like that the, the foodie icon will show up above the head so you'll see the snacking up so you have four possible suspects on this map and then you can get your camera out and you look at them and it'll show the diff it'll like bring up like this person it'll show like the different traits that you're looking for and then say you see one and they start smoking and smoking isn't on the list. You can take them off of that. Okay, you can go. Okay, it's not M. Um, let's. So you can you can you can take them off as a suspect. Let's go and look at somebody else. And you go round and just observe and just look at other people, and then go. Okay, it's this one over here. Then so you can take these other ones off the suspect list, and then you're like, no, I've got to kill this one. But here's the thing I've noticed a lot. There are lookouts on the map. Lookouts will suss you immediately. So lookouts immediately have a dot over their head, so they know who, that you're up to no good, you're up to something. So you've got to watch out for lookouts. You've also got to look out for assassins, because assassins see you doing so much shady. They don't know who you are, but if they see you doing so much shady, they're going to be on you, because they're assassins. They also, also, if you kill an assassin, they have the good stuff as well. Um, there's also, like, sort of loot boxes around, just dotted around the map randomly as well. So you can find a find a crate, and it's just got it's just got like I don't know a rubber duck in it, the explosive rubber duck, or a, a screwdriver, or just a, just a coin, whatever it is. Yeah, it's random random drops in the in the uh, in the chests, which can help you. There's also a gun runner on the map, which isn't ideal in some places because sometimes there's, the gun runners also spawn in random locations usually. And they can spawn in enemy territory, which makes it a real hard time getting to the gun runners. Gun runners let you every level you finish a level, you get currency for doing it. And then a gun runner can also can sell weapons and different different things to you, but you've got to get to them. Um. So yeah, I've just been doing that. I've I've got up to like I've finished the first syndicate, and I'm on the second set of second set of um, like syndicate challenges now. But it's Every single time you like you finish the first set of levels, the first three, the next four, one of them will be alerted. One of those quests will be alerted, so everyone's on high alert. So you do anything remotely, they immediately suss you, and you, you you're fighting. The next the next set after that four, the fight the next the five run, two of them are alerted. So two alerted missions you've got to do, and then. I think the last run is three alerted missions of the six. So it gets gradually, gradually harder and harder. Um, but then there's there's just something very addictive to it because every time you are you you you, you, you will fail a lot, you will you'll die, you start again, you get experience from it, and then you every time you go up a level in 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 the this mode you upgrade you, you you can unlock something in the house so i think i've unlocked i think i've unlocked a wardrobe and a bathroom now 
I think when you first die, you unlock the medic medical station because you end up back at the medical station, which you unlock. But then you eventually unlock like the shooting range. You unlock the weapon shed. You unlock the garage where you can keep vehicles and stuff like that. And you can up, you can personalize it. You can change different things in it. You can get different styles, and you can put posters on the walls, and you can do all the different things about it. So it comes about like I want to upgrade the house now. I want to I want to see what else is in the house. I want to I want some some statues and a nice table and all these other things. And then when you unlock these things. You can get certain certain ha rooms have certain items in it, so you could say, "Oh, the shed has a has a uh, grape knife in there." So you can take a grape knife in with you, so you have a sharp weapon immediately. Or one of the studies, I think, has a can in there, has a can of pop, so you can take a can of pop with you. So you can obviously you don't have a throwing item with you. There's also one that has a, a fruit, so you can have a banana, and bananas are good because you can put them on the floor <laughs> and people slip on them. Doesn't kill them, but it just does knock them on the sick. floor. It just makes them fall over, and everyone turns and goes, "What's that?" Um, so yeah, there's, there's tons of intricacies to it, and I, I, I've been having a real good time just back in Hitman. I was very nervous to get back in because I'm not very good at Hitman, but it doesn't matter. It turns out because you start again and you start going again. So I mean, I'll say that my initial one, I, I got very, I got, I was getting patient. I'm, I'm waiting for people to come around on a, on their 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 loop that they do, and I ended up just throwing I throw I was throwing a proximity duck near them, and then somebody else picked it up. Of course he did. <laughs> somebody else picked it up and went, "What's this?" And then it blew up and it didn't oh, kill God. the person. It was net who my target was, and then once once the target gets alerted that something's going down, they start running to running off the map, and then you fail the map. So I started running after them, threw something at them, killed them, but then it's like. But now I'm in the middle of a lot of bad guys all shooting at me and I died, so it's game over. I just get impatient sometimes. And sometimes you load into a map and the guy's right there in front of you. You just spawned in a good 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 location and the guy is right there in front of you and you go, oh, oh, uh, quick, 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 find something to throw at him. That's all I just like looking for sharp stuff. Look, where's, where's the scissors? I need to I need to find something quick to throw at this guy before he runs off. Um, so yeah, it's 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 been I mean, I enjoy this game a lot, and I'm gonna play some more of this. I, I do enjoy just playing it, and it, you don't you don't have to do an entire run all in one go because it, it's it's you can you can do a level and stop. But you need to do because like some of the initial levels, I've been in there for forty five minutes just watching these people just trying to figure out how's a good point to get in and get out and do what I need to do. And some of them, I mean, in and out within eight minutes. It's it's really you just don't know what you're going to get yourself into. So, yeah, Hitman Freelancer. It's on Hitman World of Assassination, which is the only thing you can buy now. I think it's that's what Hitman Free has been renamed to Hitman World of Assassination. And I think you can buy the Hitman One and Two upgrade, so you get all the levels. But I don't even know if that, I think if you just play Freelancer, I think all the levels are in that anyway. Just random how you play them. You don't play them like the story mode would in the rest of the game um but other than that that's about it like i say a bit of fortnite as usual stuff season ends next week new season next week i think the week after whatever it is so we're coming to an end with that stuff so uh yeah that has been a lot from me uh, this week splendid well we'll wrap things up there then because sheepdog is now looking at pictures of the airport bag shop and sending them to us on discord this is the level <laughs> yes. we've got to they don't have any bags in there that I want. <clears throat> That's not a current really? representation of their stock. That's just a photograph that could have been taken 10 years ago. I mean, uh, no. I, I they mean... also have a JD Sports at the airport and an accessorise. You get yourself a little fluffy bum bag. I might get like a pull string. I might have a pull string bag somewhere in the house. I didn't even think about them. Hmm. We'll be That's fine. I don't even need a bag anyway. What do I, I need a bag for? I will be fine. I'm prepared. Let's just don't group me in with you. I'm not having that. Good I mean, we'll be fine without me having one, was what I was saying. It's not going to affect... Not, I'm not carrying your water bottle. I'm not going to get a water bottle. I'm just going to dehydrate. He's bringing his milk bottle. Yeah, he's just going to have a <laughs> litre of milk every time he gets thirsty. <laughs> you bin it afterwards. Me. There'll be machines around there that I can dispense drinks from, I imagine. We'll stumble across them. Splendid. Boys and girls, please make sure you follow us on the internet at MGUK Podcast. You can follow me at Lelujo. And you can find me at RB6K. I'm at Miss Lelujo. 
and I'm at Pab1986. And we will see you next week, boys and girls. Have a good week. Toodle pip. Thanks for listening, folks. <laughs>